guys hi guys hi guys so today's video is gonna be a little different i wanted to go into detail about the vital seamless gymshark i know if you follow me on instagram and if you don't you should it's at stephanie giselle 15 i post there every fucking day so you guys could like see more of like my life and stuff like that sorry so um, but today's video is going to be completely different. I want to do it different. You know, I'm tired of just sitting in one spot. And so, I am 5'4". I weigh 140. You know, I go back and forth, but I weigh 140 right now. And the small is for the crop top and the leggings on both. Um, I would say that the color does not change the type of material for this type of item. At least the black and the blue marl i don't feel like it's really a size difference um sometimes you know black could fit a bit tighter than the other like light colors but for me like the black and the blue marl fit exactly the same they're just different colors um so yeah um for the crop top i ended up paying 35 dollars for each so 35 35 and then the leggings were 50 dollars each so hopefully that helps before you end up buying anything so for the crop top you can see the black marl one it has a gymshark logo here and it does also have it in the back so i'll show you guys the one in the back this is for the blue marl and it has it in the front as well so um the one thing i wanted to point out really like to start off was that i did end up like buying um a crop top seamless from gymshark like three months ago i think or four months ago and it's the peach one and like i don't know if you guys could see but look how fucking sh like this one's short these are short compared to the old seamless crop tops and i prefer the old ones better so look how much of a length that they cut off it's basically like a, a crop top that's basically a sports bra. It's just longer. Um, I prefer the old type of seamless better. Um, just because like when I'm at the gym. You know, right now it looks cute. You know, you're not moving much. I'm doing a video. You know, you whatever. But like when you're at the gym, you're not going to be just sitting there. So like I'm, I move and whatever. Or I'll be jumping or whatever. And I have to constantly be pulling it down. Just so I could feel comfortable. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about the crop top. I do like the way it looks. You know when I'm not moving. But I don't like when I do move. That it moves with me. Like I want it to stay into place. The regular um, crop top. This one like it's long enough. So like it would stay in place. I don't know. I don't know why they cut so much length off but yeah that's the same thing with the crop top so um they do they do have uh the little uh breast contouring it's not as visual as other crop tops that they have this one goes it's more like shaded in well like it's not too crazy like dark where like if it does move it's out of place it's just it's good it's good um the other thing i want to say about the crop top is that it is breathable like i could i could do like cardio and stuff and like sweat and i don't feel like <clears throat> but i do have to be like <clears throat> so yeah and the other other thing is that the material i don't have any extra extra material like it's perfect length for me for my arms um the blue marl is the same thing and of course you have the thumb hole here so yeah i like the crop top i just don't like that i have to keep pulling it down i like the way it looks when you're not moving but yeah and then let's go into the leggings the leggings i got a small like i said this is the way it looks um the waistband it's not as um, high-waisted as the Energy Seamless. 
um, I would say it's basically kind of like the um, ombre leggings, which if you haven't seen them, are these leggings. These are the ombre. This is the back of the ombre, and you can see how dark the contour is. So, like, if it's out of place, you could definitely tell. Um, so, that's the one thing I don't like about the ombre. Um, I feel like the ombre ones were way stretchier, so I ended up purchasing an extra small for all the ombres I have. And they fit okay. I just have to keep, like, rolling up the legging so the contour is literally, like, under my butt. Because that's the whole, that, I feel like that was the whole purpose of a contour, but it does go down to your hamstrings, which sucks. The new Vital Seamless, you could see the contour up close, but it's not as dark as the ombre one. So that's one thing I did want to compare to you guys. Um, the back of the booty, it has a little lining, as you can see. The ombre one has a lining in the front and in the back. This one only has it in the back. So it does so since it's not in the front, it doesn't give you as bad as a camel. Um for me, I feel like all leggings have been giving me a camel toe. I don't know why cuz I've been trying to wear like certain panties to like help me and it doesn't. So I I don't know, I got a problem, I guess. But um yeah, this one doesn't have a line, so it doesn't give you as bad as a camel toe. And like I said, I am 5'4", so you can see that the leggings fit the whole camera screen. It's not long. Like, I'm 5'4", and the bottom of the leggings literally fit me at my ankle, so that's a plus. I like that a lot. Um, most of the leggings, I have to, like, roll up, so especially the flex leggings. Girl! I have to roll those up like four times because they're really, really long. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet and join my little, my little fitness journey. So I hope you guys enjoy. I will be doing another video from the Gymshark, of course. They came out with camel type of set now and i am super excited because i should be getting it either today in the mail or tomorrow and i'm so excited because the camel looks so nice and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys next time bye